was Democratic Representative Roger Krishnamurthy of Illinois, a member of the House Intelligence Committee. Uh, Congressman, again, you and I had been scheduled to talk this morning on other matters, but this seems to be uh, the most crucial matter. Uh, have you uh, gotten the information that you need about what's going on in Afghanistan right now in this rapidly changing uh, situation? No, I haven't. It's a deeply disturbing disaster, Ali. And um, I think I, I, I and probably some of my colleagues are chiding ourselves about drinking the Kool-Aid uh, as to the effectiveness of the Afghan government and, and its military forces. Um, and of course, we uh, underestimated the uh, Taliban. Um, and I think that at this point, we have to just uh, call a spade a spade and be realistic about uh, what's happening on the ground. I personally think we have to do everything in our power to get those people out of there that helped us. Um, and I think that if they stay back, they will be killed by the Taliban. I want to play for you. Uh, Secretary of State uh, Antony Blinken was just on Meet the Press. Uh, let's just listen to a little of what he had to say. Afghans who worked for the uh, for the embassy worked uh, for our military. Uh, we have a massive effort underway to uh, bring Afghans at risk. Uh, out of the country, if that's what they uh, that's what they so desire, uh, and ultimately, it's up to the Afghans themselves. It's up to the Afghan government. It's up to the Taliban to decide the way forward for for the country, including uh, Kabul. Uh, yeah, that, that, that's a loaded statement. It's up to the Afghans themselves, up to the Taliban, and the Afghan government to decide the way forward for Kabul. Uh, doesn't seem like it's a whole bunch of equal parties negotiating at the moment. It sounds like the Taliban's got Kabul, uh, uh, you know, circled, uh, and it's it's taken these other places. And they're basically the only negotiation at the moment seems to be for safe passage, uh, maybe for uh, Afghan government members. And certainly, it appears that the uh, American negotiator has said to the Taliban, "We need 72 hours to clear out. Uh, don't come in the city. Don't do it." Anything. And it does look like the Taliban's not looking to get into a shooting war with uh, American soldiers, so they may give them the 72 hours, but that seems to be now the inevitable outcome. I wouldn't put anything past the Taliban at this point, Ali. They're a bunch of mendacious killers. And um, on the one hand, their spokespeople say they're going to uh, respect the safe passage of any number of people out of Kabul. They're going to respect women's rights. They're going to uh, make sure no one goes uh, harmed. But on the other hand, the reporting from uh, folks like yourselves and others on the ground paint a very different picture. So at this point, we have to make it very clear that we are going to evacuate our people out of there. Uh, we're going to take those who helped us out of there. And if they want any aid, which they desperately want from uh, countries like the U.S. or any of our partners, here are the conditions that underlie that aid. Um, as for the Afghan government, unfortunately, they're incompetent and corrupt, Ali. They're going to be looking out for themselves. I doubt they're going to be looking out for their people. And um, I think that uh, at this point, we have to just assume the worst. What do we do? The, the Taliban, you know, there's not that much different about the Taliban today than there was in the 90s, except for the fact that other governments are actually talking to them and that they are talking to other governments. They have been in China. Uh, they are talking to the Iranians. Uh, they, they are negotiating. They're in Doha, Qatar right now, negotiating with the Americans. How do we move forward on this? Because the last time we were dealing with the, the, the Taliban, they were an insurgent force, uh, as you said, mendacious liars. Now they will be the government of, of Afghanistan. How, how do we even process this? Do we end up dealing with them? I think that uh, we we might, uh, but uh, I think that it's going to be based on conditions. They're going to ask for aid. Um, they, they're not going to necessarily get this monetary aid from Pakistan, China, or Russia. Uh, they're going to look for humanitarian aid also from the West. And that's where we have to lay out our conditions for exactly what is going to be required in order to receive this aid. The one thing that I would just say that's very disturbing is that, um, you know, under the uh, accords, there was supposed to be an active uh, negotiation taking place in Doha uh, by the Taliban and the Afghan government. Of course, the, uh, the Taliban completely stalled uh, mm -hmm. any movement on the negotiations as they were uh, changing the facts on the ground. And so now we only have literally hours, days, maybe a week to uh, speed up and get to something that's actually uh, uh, viable. But uh, at this point, we have to just assume that uh, you don't uh, trust anything that the Taliban says. You have to see the way that they act.
Congressman, uh, please keep us posted on what you learn. Thank you for being with us this morning. This is a, a remarkable unfolding story. Congressman Roger Krishnamurthy of Illinois is on the House Intelligence.